Charles Davis. Yeah. That is Jimmy Duck Holmes. It is. And all night long. Uh-huh. It is Monday, mm-hmm. coming off of a uh, couple of big games for the Making Mayhem over the weekend, which means. From Alex Von Coito, the voice. From Alex Von Coito, the voice. Voice. From Alex Von Coito, the voice. 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 Yep. Voice. 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 Yep. Voice. 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 Yeah, that look on First your time face. he heard that. Dylan is the proper response. <laughs> wow. Just like, yeah, wow. Okay. Same That's what response saying. across the board from everybody, pretty much. What That's where doing? we are today, Dylan. <laughs> did you right know that there. was nominated for a Grammy, Dylan? He didn't win. I lost know. to Billie Eilish. Yeah. As did everyone else. As did everyone else. <laughs> We're going to need that in the room. Three games. <laughs> You're embarrassed for him, aren't you? <laughs> I can really yeah. feel that. Alex yeah. Von Coitel, how are you, buddy? I'm good. What's up, boss? Thank you. It's good yeah. to see you. Yeah, you too. It was a great weekend for us. It yeah. was. Let's yeah. uh, let's break down these games. I predicted this morning, without having heard from you, that it was either going to be Dylan or Caleb on the show, because uh, mm-hmm. both of those guys had big games over the weekend. Tell us about Friday. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, Caleb's been on the show before, so I thought I'd give Dylan a shot here, and uh, it's his day off, so just a shout out for him Thank coming. Thank you, Dylan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but, Earned your uh, first bell, didn't uh-huh. you, buddy? Uh-huh. Yep. Um, but it was a great weekend. You know, we were going into that building, a very tough building to play in. They had struggled lately, um, but, you know, I don't think that really mattered. They're just, they're such a tough team to play against, especially down there. And we come away, we came away with four points, which is outstanding. Yeah. It's yeah. obviously the best result we could hope for. You know, they obviously got a couple of points by taking us to overtime, but that's not really a team that we're concerned about getting points in the standings. So, overall, just a huge win for us. Um, it was our first road sweep of the season so far. Okay, and, yep. You know, we're just hoping to keep that momentum going. I uh, I woke up to the recap email Saturday morning, and I was reading it, and I told Ashley, I said, wow, three things we've struggled with this year. Number one, um, overtime. Yeah. And finally walked away with that overtime win. Number two, road games. Mm-hmm. Swept Friday and Saturday. Yep. And number three, Pensacola. Right. Three things that we've struggled with check, this year. Check, check, check. Exactly. Yeah, we were one in, weekend. I think we were one and five in overtime going down there before the weekend. Now we're three and five, so that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> Getting those overtime uh, monkeys yeah. off our back. Yeah, yeah. get off. Um, and, yeah, you, you said it against Pensacola, especially down there. We hadn't yeah. won a game down there in over two years. Tough room, as they say. Mm-hmm. And then Saturday night uh, – Saturday night, 4-3 was yep. the final. Yep, that's right. Um, you know, just a great overall effort. Um, both overtime goals had a, a huge part to do with Dylan and with Cam. They really seemed to be uh, clicking together. You guys played on the same line together, isn't that right? Yeah, my first year here we played uh, played on the same line. And we're mm-hmm. good buddies, too. Uh, we met uh, in a prospects game back when we were both 17, and we've been buddies ever since. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, yeah. that's oh, very cool. Yeah. Let's talk about the upcoming games this weekend, uh, Alex. Uh, Friday night, it is Making Mistakes Night as we uh, take on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the games are going to be Yeah, yet. that's no, what I'm worried about. Neither do wow. we, and that's kind of the point. Uh, <laughs> 7.30 is puck drop against Fayetteville. What do you see for the game Friday night? Well, Fayetteville, uh, I think, is um, one of the top teams, if not the top team in our league right now. Um, you know, we've we've struggled against them. We haven't been able to beat them yet. Um, you know, Obviously, we've played them a lot better at home than we have there. So it'll be interesting because we've got a taste of them the night before. We're actually going there on Thursday um, and then coming back here Friday. So, um, you know, whether or not we win or lose that game, there's just going to be more bad blood on Friday night that I think the fans will appreciate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That always makes for an interesting uh, matchup Yeah, mm-hmm. on the second night. Yep, and that's a, I think Thursdays is like a 10 a.m. start or something. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be the, rough. Uh, the school game yep. they have every year. Oh, yep. That'll oh be. yeah. Oh. I haven't had the pleasure of playing one of those. <laughs> <laughs> no great pleasure. Yeah. I'm sorry, you, you said a.m.? Oh, yes. yes. What? what? 10 a.m. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm. But is this where they bring in like school groups and things like that to watch Yeah, the it'll be like... All the schools in the local area. Um, it's, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, last, I mean, last week we went up to the Atlanta Gladiators and watched them do the same thing. They had their Tuesday morning school day game, and they had a bunch of kids from like 25, 30 schools from throughout the Atlanta Wow, area. that's a lot it was, of children. It was like field trips, basically. So it was pretty cool. I would have loved to have gotten out of school to go to a hockey what? game. I could never do that. <laughs> right? <laughs> we were always going to some kind of plant or somewhere yeah, like yeah like a like a slaughterhouse i legitimately <laughs> yeah no, I've, I've done that Been dylan there. that look on your face no yeah. dude i swear to you wow. i swear to you for a school field trip we went to a slaughterhouse yeah, makes my sense it was a different time it was a different time i'm older than you man it was a different time I just, only in america only in america 
You're so right, though, Dilly. You're so right. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's fair. I just went to a mill or something. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of history here. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Saturday night, Pucks and Paws night. Yes, That's a sir. big one. Bring your dogs. Yep. Don't bring your dogs if they're not nice dogs. No. Can I throw that out there? You can. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not bringing my dog. But all dogs welcome, but no nice dogs. But all dogs are welcome. Yeah. Bring <laughs> bring good dogs. Yeah. Bring, bring good, good dogs. dogs. Yeah. Uh, how how many dogs do we have entered for the wiener dog race on uh, Saturday night? We're do north. You know? of, we're north of 15 now. Okay. Um, wow. Hope, yeah. That's a lot of wiener. And last year we, wow. <laughs> wow. I think last wow. year we had two heats. There, I want to yeah. say. Um, uh, the, I think I've said year three. Be, year before that we had three heats. Yeah. Wow. So we. I mean, it's, I think it's close to 10 dogs per heat, and then it's going to be the same thing. The top three dogs from each heat make it to the final round. All right. And again, to address the controversy from last year. Yes, let's do this. Alex, your dog, the reigning wiener dog race champion, is not competing this year, correct? No, that's, okay. incor- that's, it, in, that's wow. incorrect. It so feels she, so like it was nepotism. So she is competing. She is competing. She is? As a, returning yes. champion. Yes. Okay, oh, wow. This is so rigged. Wow. <laughs> this is wow. So rigged. How is this? You know, we haven't seen any riots outside of the Coliseum yet. Yeah, yes. Okay, that's fair. Yes. That is fair. <laughs> but the wiener dog race is Saturday night. We'll be doing that. Uh, yeah. That'll be a lot of fun. I want to talk to you. Dylan, good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. First time on the show. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, congrats, uh, congrats over the weekend on those two big wins. Yeah, yeah. it was huge. Um, tell me about you. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Windsor, Ontario. So, so what's it like to have health care? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's, a, it's, it's got its moments. moments. It's pretty good. It's got its moments. Yeah. When did yeah, you start playing hockey? Uh, I started skating, playing when I was four years old. Okay, yeah. three, four. That's moment. a pretty yeah. common theme. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, for the uh, for the Canadian members of the uh, team, that, yeah, that three yeah, and four sure, year old mark. Sure. Uh, where'd you play? Tell me about your uh, hockey career. Okay, so grew up in Windsor. Uh, played my minor hockey there. Um, played junior when right outside of Windsor, so I stayed at home. It was great too. Okay. Um, did four and a half years there. Then I played actually college in Windsor as well. Okay. And then from there came to the Mayhem, my first pro year. Um, this was 2017. All right. With, uh, Kurt, uh, coach Kerr is the head okay. coach. Right after they won the championship. Right. And then uh, last year I actually played in uh, League Magnus in France, the top mm. league in France. So okay. That was an experience. We. Oui. And then. <laughs> now, I, wait, did you already speak French? No. Okay. I, I, a little bit. I, I mean, I can understand a little bit. All right. But, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. And that, then, had to be, uh, uh, that had to be interesting. Yeah, it was. It was a great experience. I went with one of my best friends. Uh, we played junior in college together, and then uh, we both signed on the same team. Nice. Lived together. It was pretty cool. Did you put on that France 15 from the wine and cheese? No. I actually lost. Look really? at you. Oh, yeah. That's what I, yeah, that's what I've heard. You can yeah. actually do that and lose weight yeah, there. Yeah, it's it, like wine's cheaper than water there. Like, yeah. Me and him go grocery Whoa. shopping. We're looking around. We're like... Ooh, tough choice. Yeah, let's wine, get the wine. Water. See, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Ashley. Wine cheaper than water? Yeah. You made the right call, yeah. so yeah. I'm just going to say that. You made the right time. call. Anyway. Abby's wanting to and move. Then, her, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's wanting to move. So is yeah. Abby. My girlfriend's listening. She's going she's gonna to want to move to France, yeah. too. <laughs> and then I didn't know if I was going to play this year. Um, uh, a lot of people know uh, my dad was going through uh, the whole cancer thing uh, my first year here, and he actually just got over it. So All right now. All yeah. right now. All right. So I was like, you know what? I need to I want to play. Like I I need to get back playing. Good. So I hadn't played in like 6 months and then I'd been talking to Cam and like Herbs and and uh, and Rogues cuz I still talk to those guys and Mike's gave me a call and then I decided to come back. So It uh, seems like um you know Alex you and I were talking about this off air. Um you know, obviously the team's had some struggles this year. Uh, with a lot of personnel changes, coaching changes, that type of thing, it really feels like the team's gelling. Can you confirm that? Yeah, I can. Um, it's honestly from where we were when I first got here, the f- like first week or so to now, it's a lot different. Like a lot different with all the personnel changes we've had, and I feel like we just have guys that that want to be here. Here, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you want. We need guys that want to go to work every day. Like we can't have people that were just dragging along for the ride true chance to build something yeah exactly now i noticed um outside parked on cherry street is that your car with the bike rack on the back <laughs> no okay all right good <laughs> no i was gonna tell no. you if you're biking and making georgia no, no, don't no, do no. that that is rough no no no, no you will no. get killed no, no. people here drive crazy. okay tony ask dylan your hockey question your right. hockey movie question all right yep. hockey movie question okay um best hockey movie of all time you only have three choices slap shot miracle or goon oh <laughs> um, wow. Um, Slapshot's good. It's funny. 
Goon also good, funny, newer, but he's, but he's gonna gotta go, go with go with, gotta go with, every, every, every gotta goes go with miracle. Gotta go with miracle. <laughs> so that's to be one. honest. To be honest, those wouldn't even be my three. Oh, the top oh my! Oh, my, top oh my, Dylan. Well, no. let's let's step outside what we normally do here, Dylan. Um, Edumacate me. So I you gotta go classic Mighty Ducks. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> Ducks. thank you. And then you're also missing Mystery Alaska. Mystery Alaska, yeah. Oh. I'm yeah. so glad you said Mighty Ducks because I've been campaigning for the Mighty Ducks yeah. for the longest time. And Tony says, no, now that's look, not. While, while Mystery Alaska was a fine film, yeah. it, was Cam- it was Russell Crowe. So yeah. we're not, yeah, we're not doing when, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't do that. It makes it ineligible. Uh, <laughs> makes it ineligible. But thank you for participating. Is that a little personal? He, he, we got a little personal he, no, Nobody that? has ever, nobody has ever, first of all, picked Goon. <laughs> which, which upsets him. Is the I, correct do, I do like Goon. I really like Goon. Not uh, enough. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. I told it's him. not enough, man. It's because we don't yeah, have fair, any Goons. Fair. We don't have any Goons on the team. Well, and there's, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. We don't. Uh, <laughs> there's actually, I don't know. If anybody's ever seen this, uh, it's called Ice Guardians. I, oh, no, I've never seen I, it. I would suggest giving this a watch. It's a documentary. Oh, um, oh okay. It is actually about all the NHL fighters and um, just how hockey still needs fighting in the game. And I'm telling you, it's probably the best. Gives me chills when I watch it. Like, oh, all like, right, I'm Ice Guardians is what it's called. Write that down. They, they, gonna... they interview uh, all the best fighters before oh, yeah. and now like mm-hmm. uh it was a big thing in windsor too because bob probert's from windsor but one of probably the best fighter of all time yeah. in the nhl and he well, he's not he passed away oh. and uh they had a big thing about him on there like ty domi yeah just uh-huh. like all the ex tough guys it's great oh nice all yeah. right mm-hmm. i will take that suggestion despite the fact that you did not pick goon yeah. i will take your suggestion right. uh cool dylan thanks for being here thanks this morning, man. no problem no yeah problem. and no problem as always, parting gifts, you get a t-shirt. Yeah, you get Sweet. a t-shirt. We'll so give you a little that. coffee, Love you know, it. things Love of that nature. Since you came in on your day off. Uh-huh. Um, Alex, line change tomorrow night? Yes, sir. It'll oh. be a different one, I think. Yeah, explain um, this. You said you were doing something different tomorrow night? So this past week, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday last week, we reached our one-year anniversary of the show. Okay. Um, February 12th. I don't, I, don't, I don't know why I remember that date, but I did. So um, I didn't get a card. As a, uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Saying something. Um, just as a kind of thank you to our fans, I think we're going to do... Um, something a little different. I haven't really decided what yet, but I know that uh, we're going to have our guests decided by the fans. We're going to put up a poll on Twitter okay. and like, oh, that's cool. let them decide want. who they want to. All have right. on, so. We'll be watching for that. Yeah. Alex Von Coidel, mm-hmm. Dylan Denemy, thank you guys. Thank thank you. You. He makes us play voice. it twice for Two times. Alex Von Coidel, twice. Voice. Voice. Alex Von Coidel, it's no voice. less awkward voice. the second it time. It is. I mean, it's just, voice. it's still there. I'll get you a copy for this for the locker room. Yeah, I got to get it. Here's music from the band of heathens on the crank.